I'm gonna stay. I don't know anything about a code or a briefcase. Jason, leave him alone. No, no, there, there is no mistake. Okay, you put a briefcase in the vault at the Metro Court Hotel. There are armed men who want it. They have taken over the hotel and they are holding hostages. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Now you've just complicated things for me. Let me return the favor. Five, bring the bag. I knew I recognized his voice. What is this for? It's a fashion statement. Put it on. Sam, you put that. You put that on, the police could kill you. And if you don't, I will kill you. You want the cops to think that I'm one of you. Think of it as poetic justice. I can't wait to see you in a jumpsuit, darling. Help! We need help in here! Dad, Dad, can you hear me? Emily, Emily, you gotta get out of here. No, I'm not leaving you. If you escape, you can save all of us, please, Emily. Just, just go, go. Don't shoot! Don't shoot, I'm unarmed! Listen to me, I'm a doctor. I can save the woman who's been shot. He's unarmed. Just listen to me. You have my word, no tricks, no games. I just want to help the injured woman. Just let her go and take me instead. My father is having a heart attack. He needs a defibrillator so that we can shock his heart back into its normal rhythm. You know, the paddles, like you I know what a defibrillator okay. is. There's gotta be a machine somewhere in this hotel. Look at him. He's not going anywhere. He's in no condition to move. So you can go with me to make sure that I don't try anything. Just get it. Okay. Okay. Do you have any aspirin? No. Okay. When we get out of here, you're going to go see a nutritionist. No more cheese omelets and ice cream for you. Oh, that's so fair. When was the last time you had your cholesterol checked? <laughs> Listen to you. So calm and bossy, just just like a regular doctor. Yeah, trust me, it's only on the outside. Yeah, well that's that's all that counts. That's what that's what patient patients look for. Okay. Leaves one lousy aspirin in the bottle. Huh? All right. Huh? Here you go. I want you to chew this, Dad. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. You're diaphoretic. You're short of breath. No, I didn't. I just... I just need to rest for a little while and I'll feel better, okay? Lorenzo, you, you're just still sorry to the anesthesia. Do you remember being shot? Oh, no. I thought... Did he shoot me? No. No, sweetheart. Jason is trying to help the hostages. Um, you, you were overseeing a shipment. Whatever you received is locked in a briefcase with a six-digit combination. The first three numbers are seven, six, seven. We just, we just need the rest of the combination. Do you work for me? The, no, I'm, I'm just trying to help you figure this out so we can get the hostages released. I really wish I could remember. I need to talk to him. Okay, you rest and I'll, I'll be right back. Very convincing. You're brilliant. He doesn't remember. What part of that don't you understand? Nurse Johnson. That's me? There's a patient in 607 who's been waiting 26 minutes for pain meds. That is 24 minutes too long. I see by your name tag that you are the head nurse on this floor. I am. Then get one of your staff on it immediately. We do not give 
painkillers to patients anytime they ask for them. We administer meds on a prescribed schedule. Now, if you're talking about the patient at 607, if we gave her a shot of morphine every time she wanted, she'd be dead. That wasn't indicated on our chart. Either way, it is an oversight. I'll make a note of it. I would rather you gather a meeting of your nursing staff so I can point out the more glaring errors that need to be addressed. Who the hell are you? Dr. Russell Ford. My name is Patrick Drake. I'm a doctor, a surgeon. The woman who's been shot is also a doctor, and she needs help. But I can't let you in, so it seems that we're at an impasse. Then take me instead. I'll do whatever you ask. Just please let Robin get some help. Oh, this is so incredibly romantic, a doctor offering his life for another. But you see, I like the hostages that I have. I really do. Then let me in. But at least I can help Robin. Oh, it's true, she really could use your help. I and mean, it's tempting to accept your sacrifice you're offering to make. But you see, we've done a bang up job here, no pun intended, to lock the place down. So I'm afraid you're going to have to leave no. now. No, I'm not leaving Robin. Well, then I'll kill her now and end this discussion. Thank you. No, no. If you won't let Patrick in, then let him tell us how to save her. Ah, now that might be interesting. If I agree, would you be willing to perform the surgery, Mrs. Corinthos? 